Welcome! So, for today, we will discuss about um, examinations to our eyes. First, the ocular motility test that determines on how well our eyes, how good to follow such objects moving. First uh, test is the road age test. So, this road age test is to check or evaluate our six extraocular muscles through um, directing our eyes to the nine cardinal points. First, at this primary position, una dre one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So those are the nine cardinal points na ma-check ang atong extraocular muscles. As ang ginagamit lang nato is ang tip of the pen or the light or pen light na tong gamiton para mo dito ang magfixate ang eyes atong pasyente while well, following the cardinal points. Good afternoon everyone, I am Sarlene Jade and Lap Kulita, a third year student. So now, I will be testing a ocular motility test, which is broad age test. We identify ang cardinal points at ang pasyente. So, um, good afternoon sir. So, ang bahata na to karoon sir is ang ocular motility test. At ang i-check ay muhang nine cardinal points. Kung okay pa dyan pa ni muhang mata. So, karoon, Imo lang ni follow at ang tip ani niya maklaro lang okay. okay. So pag ako ning i-move, imo lang i-follow ang tip while dili na mo i-move imo hang hand. Okay? Okay, let's start. Okay. So, ang result sa ato ang test ganit na sa ato ang pasyente is safe at ang pwede i-record. Nga naman, safe means smooth, accurate, full, and extensive. Pero if atong pasyente na siya problem sa yung eyes, especially um, atong i-describe kung sa siya nga problem, jerky ba yung eyes, unsteady, um, restricted, or na siya mga nistagmoid ng mga problems. So, second, Second is our saccadic eye movement. So there are other types pa na mga um, ocular motility tests, smooth pursuit, but this saccadic eye movement is used in order nga ma-check na tong eyes if still makafollow ba siya sa object quickly and accurately fixating onto the one object and the another object nga dili mag slow ang speed. So, muto itong saccadic eye movements. In the same way, it also evaluates or check the condition of our cranial nerve number 3, 4, and 6, which is the oculomotor 3, trochlear 4, and abducens 6. Okay, let's go. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. So, ang test na, na to current is saccades eye movement. So, can you saccades test is used to rapidly refixate from one object to another. Or we say, ang oh, kaniyang makamot, kaniyang kani target, kung iingon, yung mga napag-transfer na po sa another target na mag-fixate na po or maklaro yung mong pananaw. Then, also, in this test, mag-check na po yung mong cranial nerve 3, 4, and 6. Start. Sir, mo niya itong thumb. So, buhaton niyo mo, sir. Kaniyang thumb, yung mong tanawon. Then, ito ang index finger. Pag mo na ako thumb, dan ako sa thumb. Pag mo na ako index, dan ako sa index. Are you ready? Paspasan ako, sir, ha? Ready? Thumb. Index. Ayaw, iliho ko yung head. Ganang kuwan na. Tama lang yung kuwan. Position sa mong head. Kaya, ready, go. Thumb. Index. Index. Thumb. Index. Thumb. Index. Thumb. Index. Thumb. Index, thumb, index, thumb, 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 index, 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 thumb, index. Okay, next, ang vertical na sa kaya. Kini na horizontal man ko. So, karoon vertical, up and down. Okay, kina. Okay, ra, kaya, sir. Up, down, up, and up, down. Up, down, okay. Let's start. Up, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. So, the results sa itong pasyente, no? Is daily abnormal iyahang eye movements or iyahang sa speed siyang eyes. And so, also sa accuracy. So, if atong patient na problem na siya abnormal sa speed siyang eye movements, na siya abnormal sa accuracy of eye, if it's eye movements, for sure na siya hypometropia or hypermetria. And also, um, mostly condition ani if slow ang speed sa ilahang saccadic movement, is morning mga pasyente nga with Parkinson's like or ginatawag na itong extra para without. So, mara ito atong test karon Pilari examination where it assess the afferent and efferent neurologic pathways responsible for pupillary functions which is dilation and constriction. So, nato ito lo kabok nga i-process direct pupillary consensual or indirect pupillary and last is a swinging flashlight. Okay. So, karon magta sa itong pasyente o sa kabata. Okay, let's go. Okay, karon na itong buhatan bata is ang pupillary examination. At ang i-check kung nag-dilate pa yung eyes or nag-constrict. Okay? Good. Okay. So, first, itong buhatan is ang direct pupillary. So, tanaw ka dali ah, sa mga ilong. Nose, nose ah, okay? Sige. Tanaw, Dria, ha? Tanaw. Okay. Be good. One. Dari, dari, tanaw sa nose. Two. Three. Good. In mga eyes. Again, pikas. Dari, tanaw, dari. Good. Two. Three. Okay. Next. So, next na is indirect or consensual pupillary. Okay? Same job on, ha? Tanaw ka din sa mga ilong. Okay? Sige. So, nose. Look. Good. Good. Last. Good. Okay? Okay, ra? Okay. Last na ni, ha? Okay? Nag-constrict. Constrict, last, constrict. Good. So, sa itong last nga test is swinging flashlight. So, kanyang swinging, oh, ayun sa last. Swinging flashlight mo nang test sa Marcos Gontutil. Okay. So, after you check yung mga eyes, ha? Last. Then, ito ba? No, straight na now. Straight na now. Okay. Okay, last. Okay, good. Ang ato ang result ato sa direct is good naga constrict iyang OD o OS and also sa indirect o consensual samtang ako ang ginabotang ang light o sa ka ay. Ang isa po is consensual na gawork po siya together. Tapos, atong swinging flashlight para madetect na to ako na yung Marcus Gunn pupil due to disorder sa iyong pupil nga na ay abnormal pupillary uh, reflex. So, pag transfer sa picus eyes, delete na siya mo, constrict. So, magdilate na lang siya. So, uh, naasya problem, pupillary defect in the afferent limb of the right eye pupillary reflex and and thank you